It is official. Scotland have qualified for the 2024 Euros. Now, there is two and a half minutes of this game remaining, but guess what? A draw would be better. So, you know what? If no way can go up and score with Erlen Haaland, Martin Odegaard, whoever, Mohamed El Yunusi, doesn't really matter who gets that goal in the back of the net, a draw would be better because that means we're through. Plus, Spain, we've got a few points less than us, and it means we win our last two games no matter what. We top the group, but we've got two minutes and ten seconds to go, and it's great to be back in the international tournament. We kind of knew this that after the game on uh, Thursday, I believe it was, that was Thursday, we knew that the job would be done tonight. I I'd never really seen Norway beating Spain. And that's a weird thing to say. Uh, Norway, to me, are disappointing. Like, now, they had won their previous four games in a row. But I think when you've got the likes of Odegaard and Haaland, who, you know, best striker in the world, along with one of the best number 10s in the world, like, I get it. It's not just a two-man team, but you, you would expect them to be doing something... Like, our midfield stacked, but could you imagine if you had Odegaard in there, in the in that position, with Haaland up front? We would go for, like, you know, being really good to, like, tournament outsiders, man. Here, and maybe some people could argue that we are tournament outsiders, but it's the seconds tick down. We have got 70 odd seconds, 65 seconds. I want the draw. I want, I want it all. But Marata, apparently he was poor tonight. Didn't actually watch any of the game, but who really cares, man? Don't need to watch the game, but... So it looks like, what, Norway are playing two up top. Marata, not, uh, ha Haaland and Odegaard. Some people did question Big Marata by saying that here, he, he may as well play up front for... Uh, Norway. But, uh, I mean, you've got Norway team... To be to be fair, like, I mean, you look at the front two, then you look go back. I mean, Berg and and Berge are actually all right, but the rest in that team it really does leave a lot a lot up. But we've got twenty seconds to go. Wales defeat at Croatia, Turkey defeat at Latvia, Romania defeat at Andorra. Yanis Hadji for all the Rangers men out there, well, I mean, most of us will be on this channel, <laughs> but uh, Yanis Hadji, of course, getting a goal and two assists. But, you know, Romania's got a few good players as well, but surely, guys, that is it. That is going to be it here in this game. The final seconds are ticking down. It didn't go to plan for Norway. That is them out of Euro 2024. And that is Scotland then. We're in. We've made it. It was inevitable. But it doesn't it doesn't it's weird. For the first time in my lifetime we've qualified easily for a tournament. Fucking insane. Honestly, compared to that last time, defeating uh Serbia on penalties. I never thought we would qualify this easily. But to be honest, we've got the squad. I mean you still expect it to go down to like the last game. Or, or last two games maybe, but we've ended it here with two to go, and realistically, without Norway having a decent bit of form in the last few games, and us getting screwed in Seville, this could have been over weeks ago, weeks ago. Really could have been, but that's us. Scotland have made it through. Norway crash it as we go in to Scotland. Scottish football, let's see what's happening. Um... Let's see, Scotland qualify for Euro 2024. Scotland are going to Germany. Get the sausages out. Whatever they do in Germany, man, I don't know. Braswag. Braswag? What's it called? I don't even know. I, can't, I don't even care. We're there. We're going to fucking win. So until next time, peace.